Hey folks, Champ Esk here bringing you another audio commentary. Today between Fly, the um, teal orc in the um, sort of 7 o'clock position, and Moon, the uh, orange elf in the 12 o'clock position. Obviously, um map is two rivers, it's a old Reign of Chaos map, so you probably won't know it unless you're really old school like me. <laughs> and um, it sort of is really an imbalance map, as you can just see. There's... Um, Sort of, it's not symmetrical really at all, and uh, I'm not, I can't remember who actually gets the <laughs> advantage from this sort of spawn. Also, weird um, creep positions as well. You don't don't generally see the creeps on the side of gold mines, but that's not really a huge issue, obviously. And um, demon hunter from moon, and oh, actually forest here from fly. So um, we're probably going to be seeing some, some harassing here. Um, obviously, very short distance between the two bases, and. This means that uh, sort of a tower rush could be possible. We, we could see a tier one tower rush. There might be space for a tower to go in here. That could be quite nice because it's really hard for um or the demon hunter then couldn't attack it, and you'd have to get the archers to. Um, I've often seen um Grubby go for that, where he puts actually his scouting. If he sees an opportunity, he'll put his scouting peon just to build a burrow in there and burrow rush. I've seen him do that a fair few times now, and um obviously Moon just uh, creeping, getting a ring of protection, not a great item. And fly coming straight to harass, which is fairly um, expected, because he is a far seer. You, you want to be harassing. You don't need to be item creeping or something. And uh, uh, this gap here is going to mean that these whips are all going to be harassable. But obviously, the far seer is going to be trying to avoid damage, direct damage from the demon hunter, because it's an agility hero versus an intelligence hero. That's really not something you want to be trying to fight. And this archer actually might go down. So a very early advantage to fly here. And yes, this um, archer does go down. And fly now, um, could get a surround on the steam hunter. No, it doesn't look like it will. And taking far too much damage on this far seer. And, um, maybe he'll build a voodoo land close by. He doesn't have a pee on here, so he's gonna have to run back to heal up, which is sort of quite a waste of time. And, uh, obviously, Demon Hunter just chasing him away, and actually, Fly should be careful now. He has to run backwards just because of the way Moon positioned his Demon Hunter, and the far seer goes down, so a very bad start for Fly in the end. He did get one. Um, Archer kill, and it looks like he's getting some good harassment in here, but um, he's not going to kill this Moon well, and Moon just will be able to cycle his Wisps now. He has obviously sufficient micro to do that, and he this uh, Wisp does heal on the Moon well, so um, not going too well for Fly at this point. Obviously, it's so important to just harass really well in this, and you can see two, three, in, four injured um, Wisps in the gold mine now, just constantly as they get attacked, he cycles them into the mine and takes one out and rebuilding as far as here going building a stronghold as well no war mill at this point so we're not going to see a tower rush by the looks of it unless he's building a late one maybe he's going to go for a shadow hunter with serpent wards that wouldn't be too uncommon f for this situation as it is now um ancient of war building some archers obviously because he moon knows he's going to need the defense but taking a bit of damage from the creeps so has to be careful about that because it is at quite low health, but it's ranged, it's um piercing damage creeps, it's taking damage from, and obviously it has fortified armor, so it should be okay. And Fly now coming back in with his Farseer, um, three grunts as well, and he should be able to get a good bit of harass down here. And uh, Wonder, Ancient of Wonders going down as well as a Hunter's Hall, so we're going to see probably some Dryads, and they, their Dryads are really good against Farseer because they can slow this really weak hero as well as dispel the wolves and not be hit by um, uh, Chain Lightning. So they're pretty much the perfect anti um Farseer unit. And this Ancient of War is actually like, taking a lot of damage now that it's uprooted again. And these wisps or these um archers need to be careful. Obviously tier two now for Moon but no um all, no tavern, so he's having to build a keeper of the grove just because none of the other peers are really suitable for this situation. Or more suitable. Obviously the keeper of the grove isn't ideal either. And um Wisp coming in and detonating there. Moon should really be detonating more just to kill those um wolves, but I guess he, since he texts quite early, despite the harassment, he just needed all the wisps he could, he could have. And um, one ancient of lore going down now, and I don't think Fly's gonna be able to cancel that because he's too distracted by the demon hunter, who's doing a good job of just keeping Fly busy. If we take a look in Fly's face quickly, we do see a bestiary going up and a shadow hunter and grunt upgrade. So we're probably gonna be seeing not a tower rush, but a push of some sort, because no war mill at this point. And on Demon Hunter again, um, hunting down this uh, Farseer, 
uh, ooh, we could get us around here on the Demon Hunter. Obviously, the bridge is a really dangerous place to be because it's such, it's such a good choke point, really. You can just put his grunts up front and then have his Farseer pound down with range, and that's exactly what he does there, actually. But Keeper of the Grove now out for Moon, and um, Keeper of the Grove very good against grunts, obviously, because it's a few number of high food, high hit point units, and so you just need to entangle one, and that's a large portion of the army sort of taken out, and Mu just need, really needing to heal up his Demon Hunter here. It's the end of night, pretty much, and there's no um, juice in these Moon Wells, and so Moon actually buys a um, Moonstone, despite it being night already, which is just going to prolong the night a bit longer. And in case you don't know, actually, um, let's just check, yeah, Dry's coming out here. Um, Moonstone sort of stops the game time, and um, that means that even if you use it during night, it just means night lasts a bit longer. It doesn't mean that, sort of, if you use it during the day, that you just skip a bit of the day, that all the day still happens, but just a bit later. And um, Moon coming up and just trying to harass here on the space, getting um, one mana burn on the Shadow Hunter, but Shadow Hunter still has lots of mana and probably gone for Spirit Wars. I haven't. Or Serpent Wars, sorry, I haven't noticed. And um, Dispel just coming up now for Moon as well. Only one Dryad, and so, yep, there's the um, Serpent Wards there. And Ancient of War already in position, that's very important. And Moon getting a dead on this Wisp, and uh, <laughs> Speed Graving to ease. And Farseer actually being taken down by another Mana Burn, two times now by a Mana Burn. And so, um, very bad situation for Fly here. Obviously, he has a local advantage, and he has built a War Mill, because he's putting up a Watchtower now. But... Um, a bit on the run here. I don't think Fly really has a chance at this point because his other heroes has to run away now as well. Although he is doing a lot of damage to these Dryads. Obviously, Serpent Wards do a lot to Dryads. And um, if these Towers ever get up, which I don't think they will, but if they do, obviously that's going to be a very nice counter for the Dryads. And um, Sanction of War looks like it's going to go down as well. No armor upgrade at this point, so um, can't speed scroll or can't um, speed away. And. Um, uh, first, ooh, that's really bad. First raider getting entangled. And the first raider is so important and almost to surround there on the keep of the grove, but one archer keeps it from being surrounded. And um, entangle on the shadow hunter, and the shadow hunter goes down. And very low archer here as well, but just being kept away. And obviously, with the help of the slow from the dryads, that micro is just so easy. And keeper of the grove now level two, almost enough mana for another entangle. And these towers. Uh, probably won't go up. It looks like these grunts will be killed too soon, but I'm at some very low dryads here, and um, the first year now coming in as well, uh, using a... <laughs> actually, both um, both uh, wolves are immediately dispelled, so a bit of a shame, and only one level 1 first year, because obviously Fly hasn't done any creeping at all, and a uh, dryad does get surrounded. That's very nice by Fly, but... Um, just look at, there's just so many low hit point grunts at this point, these towers actually will get up just because of um, the Farseer coming and her distracting for a bit, and Farseer level 2, so we'll have Chain Lightning, but not the mana for it yet, so this Demon Hunter should be a bit careful, does, the Keeper of the Grove does have a staff and then does use it as well, and um, Moon might want to take down these towers before he builds up too many, but it looks like he's just, he knows he can't take them out with only a Keeper of the Grove and a couple um Dryads, and so he's just um, waiting his time, really trying to intercept units, and then um, actually a bit of a waste of a uh, chain lightning there. I guess he just didn't want to be mana burned, but only hitting the demon hunter. And this first tower going down looks like it, this dryad will go down, and spirit uh, the um, shadow hunter back up as well. But this tower going down as well, so looking quite bad for fly at this point. Obviously he's sticking in it because you you can always get lucky, get a lucky demon hunter kill, and if you get that, then that the game's over basically, but otherwise I'm not really sure if he, he has any other route to victory at this point. The second tower going down as well, and uh, it's not looking very good for Fly. Uh, you should probably take down that Serpent Ward because they're sort of so easy to take down. Only 75 hit points at level one. Um, this another raider getting entangled. That's very important because obviously raiders are so useful, which is why pretty much in every matchup, especially orc versus orc, but um, most matchups, you really want to take out the raiders first because they just limit micro so much. And eight and really low hit points there with the um, demon hunter, only 16 hit points, and just manages to get away. And um, keeper of the grove, not enough mana for an entangle, but won't need it to take out the shadow hunter. And getting level three, which does give him enough mana for a um, entangle, and which he could use to take out the farce here. But the demon hunter very low here. Very, Moon being very cocky, um, six hit points on his uh, demon hunter, but uh, that's it. And Fly says GG after losing the farce here. So um hope you enjoyed that folks. Feel please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe below. Thanks.